right, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, you've seen us run a lot of these trails up here, but we've never actually been over to, uh, to the Greenwald area. We heard that that was actually done. So we're gonna give you kind of an insider tour on what it's like to be a beginner at Trestle Bike Park. I see that, that question is asked all the time on various forums. Can a beginner go ride at Trestle Bike Park? So we're heading up the gondola right now. We're gonna head over to Green World and come down some of the easier trails, nice flowy trails from what we hear, but uh, stay tuned. We're gonna go uh, shred through some greens. So one of the hardest challenges, believe it or not, of this place, or at least for a new person, is going to be getting off the lift. Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jeff. So, you know, usually it's best just kind of rock back a little bit. Um, the doors do open going outward, but you just kind of want to stand here with your bike like this, grab onto your handlebars, let the rear tire go in front of you, and walk out with it, and just set that guy down. That's all that it takes. Hello. Hello. Thanks. So we just got off the gondola. We've hiked up to this area to access Green World, even though the sign does say, I think it says access to Green World. Green up here. Yeah. Oh, we're actually doing a video for that exact thing. So yeah, we'll take you right to it. So from here, we're gonna go down and around. You know, and just kind of choose your line through here. There's obviously some obstacles that you can run over, but you know, you're mountain biking, so the bike can take it. Just get a good grip, good stance, kind of hover through it, right? Little rock option if you want, right? Ooh, through the mud. Ooh. Okay, now this is a road, right? Watch for cars, okay? And there's signs that say stop, look for vehicles, etc. And from here, you have options. Rainmaker, black jump line, green world to the left here. So we're gonna do just a tiny bit of climbing. Oh, too much. <laughs> You're not going far though. Just right here. And this is what starts Green World. So all the way down through Green World. It's going to be essentially what we're looking at here. Pretty mellow, pretty fun. Great, great beginner trail. I think you guys will very much so enjoy this. Now this area here, we always call this the launch area. Hey, yeah, have fun guys. We were having those guys come in. Just, they wanted to know where Green World was. So obviously probably, I don't know, first, second day here. Rented some bikes and going to have some fun. The line on the right is Rainmaker. It is rollable, but it is a fast jump line. Uh, very large jumps, very big tabletops with options for even larger parts. Uh, you will want to stay to the left, but everything here is going to be marked and all that good stuff. So now we'll go ahead and dive on in. And we're going to go explore it. Keep in mind, you are mountain biking, so there are rocks, right? So just kind of stay loose, let the bike do bike things. You know, watch out for obstacles that are gonna be on the trail.
you know, let uh, whatever you feel comfortable wise, let your pace go at whatever pace you choose, right? This actually takes a photo of you as you go by. So make sure you smile for the camera. Some neat little rollers in here. Nice banked corners. If you do have a little bit of speed, you can hop some of these. Like Dave's doing here. Oh, beautiful corner. Lean into her good. Same thing here. Now they did just finish reworking this trail. Some of you may recognize some of these lower parts here. It has now dropped us on to the bottom of Spicy Chicken. But as you can see, there is nothing on here that you absolutely have to clear. It's just a matter of enjoying the bike and having fun. Little options here. <laughs> When you get here, you want to cut over to the left here. And you're going to notice two trails. One's a hiking trail, one is a green world. This is a biking trail. So, biking only, hiking only. And there's even signs that say, hopefully, you guys can see that stop, wrong way, etc. So, from this section, you can basically go uninterrupted from here all the way down to five points. Okay. And the nice thing is they rerouted the lower half of Green World, so there isn't a nasty climb um, on the last third of it. Now it's basically all flowy and um, no pedaling. Nice. Just nice uh, enjoying the ride, coasting down, having fun. It's definitely going to be a little bit wet on the upper third here. Okay. So, you good? Yeah, good. Follow you. So this is really nice through here, right? Nice, it's actually fairly smooth. There's some good whoops, some cool little, <laughs> some cool little jumps if you option to hit those. The corners are banked. So that's nice, right? Oh, there's an obstacle, right? A little tree branch in the way. You know, always be, oh, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> Quick, uh, quick camera cutting. Dave, hold up. You're good. Just want to make sure the camera doesn't have big things. You'll see the wood back there. They'll usually do that if there's a lot of puddles or if it's wet, just to mitigate some erosion, right? But you know, like I was saying, if you're New to downhilling, go at your own pace. Go at the speed you're comfortable with. Take your time. You know, and there's a saying uh, when it comes to downhill biking. It's pre-ride, meaning get familiar. Re-ride, start to learn it, right? All right, and we are and then free ride. the new segment. Basically, you're looking for We're changes in the trails tree branches, obstacles. All new for you. Oh, pretty. This is a big, beautiful berm. Flowy. Oh, some nice hoppable tables. Woo! Oh, this is so much fun.
this is a great place to work on corners. Maybe even start to get a little air, right? Start to get a little jumpy. Now, if it is wet at all, like freshly raining, I don't mean like it is now with just some lingering puddles, but rain, the wood is going to be unbelievably slick. And I mean unbelievably slick. If it starts raining and that wood looks wet, walk it, especially as a new rider, okay? If you don't, it's like, I mean, it's, it's like they greased it. <laughs> it is unbelievably slippery. But this is just enjoyable. Some fun little rollers, little places to hop. And a great warm up lap, too. Oh, see, big root sticking out. And here's some more of those wood areas just to mitigate that erosion. This wood's mostly dry, pretty good. Wee! Oh, these are fun. Fun rollers. You know, get used to driving the bike forward, pumping out of those, and then it dumps you right here into what's called five points or five points rain. That was fun. Yeah. That was enjoyable. Now, from here, let's go over to the sign. <laughs> so you can see the sign here that everything is very well marked. We're going to continue our beginner guide here a little bit, guys. You can see Green World goes over to the left, so we're going to go ahead and follow Dave over here and just kind of walk through here. I mean, of course, you're probably going to want to pedal. Pedal over here. You can hopefully see that sign up there on the left side. Shows you the continuation of Green World with some options for black, blue, black, etc. In fact, this is probably a good time to tell you guys how these signs are laid out. Okay. Green is essentially a beginner trail. Uh, maybe some rollers, exactly like what we just came down. Um, black is going to be more advanced. Double black is going to be even more advanced than that. And in some cases, it could even be a pro line. But the question is, is that orange oval that goes around the blue, blue being intermediate, typically no mandatory drops or jumps, but that orange oval that goes around it means that it is a flow line, meaning that it is a manicured trail. The crews have come up here with all of their tools and equipment, and they have removed dangerous type obstacles, large rocks, branches that have fallen down, so on and so forth. It's not extremely uh, raw, if you will. It is a manicured flow line, meaning you should be able to maintain speed, have fun with it, so on and so forth. But, you know, whereas a standard blue or maybe even a blue black is going to be more technical, larger rocks, roots, uh, perhaps even mandatory drops or gaps. So just kind of be aware that's how those work. But we'll pick you back up here when we uh, walk over here to Green World. So this is where we just came from. So we came from Five Points. We walked through here. You can see you've got options. Green World, which we're going to continue down. Dirty Dozen, a manicured steep black. You also have a flow line blue called Free Speech over here off to the right. Uh, these are both, you know, very, very good trails, very fun trails, but we wanted to make sure that we could do this for perhaps someone that is brand new to a bike. So we're going to continue down Green World here. Oh God, and it burns. pedal along. <laughs> you know, the guys, we are on downhill bikes. Um, these are 200 millimeter suspension bikes. Uh, these trails, by all means, 
uh, it's not required. Um, it's really not. Just kind of depends on what you're comfortable doing? with. How but you good. Hey, bud. And uh, you know, you can ride just about anything on here. There's some guys that ride hardtails on this stuff. Um, I like riding a downhill bike because, well, it's like riding a sofa. You know, almost eight full inches of suspension travel, large rocks, doesn't beat you up as bad. We're gonna stay on this and just kind of continue right along here. Now this area is mostly flat, but you do have to pedal through here. But it's nothing you can't handle. See, there's even options there off to the right for maybe practicing going over larger obstacles. And now we're back on a good bit of the downhill. Now, I am not a bike instructor by any means. There are some excellent ones there, especially in the Colorado region. Um, you know, for instance, uh, shout out to Ben. Pro tips with Ben, awesome instructor. Trestle, uh, they have awesome instructors, right? If you enjoy this, you wanna get more serious about it, take a ride, take a ride with these guys. They'll tell you what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and just generally make you a better rider. It's worth its weight in gold. So now you can see, as we're cruising down through Green World here, You can see that this is pretty mellow, right? Easy to roll over everything. And really, you know, the camera never does this justice. It's a mountain bike trail, guys. There are rocks, there are roots. There are things that are going to show up in the trail that, ooh, a little bit of a drop there, but nothing you can't roll off of. But there are things that are gonna show up in the trail you're not going to be ready for. So maintain a pace, a speed, a distance to the rider in front of you that is safe. You'll have enough time to stop. If something goes wrong with Dave, then he goes down. I don't wanna run into him, right? So keep good pace, keep good speed, and just enjoy the ride. This is awesome through here. It's beautiful. Look, trails merge here. Let's look over your shoulder. Hey, Dave, hold up two seconds, if you would. Just a quick break here, guys. I'm gonna look at something on the bike real quick. Yeah, pretty close to the stop above uh, no quarter now. Okay. So just a couple hundred yards. I'll wait till you get rolling here. I'll jump up on trail. Another good practice to get in, guys, is if you are gonna stop, um, don't stop on the trails. It's actually mandatory on black trails. You're not allowed to, but make it a habit. Get off all the trails, you know. Hey, you're out in the woods. There's more than enough foot space, floor space, right? Scoot over, get out of the way. That way if someone comes down, they're not having to emergency brake or whatever. Just make it a good practice that there's more than enough room for people to go by. It's proper etiquette. Oh, some good roots, some more good roots. Game off. And also, you'll see the sign there says stop vehicle crossing. Should have, but came very, very slow through there. Now, you've seen a lot of videos here. No quarter. You, if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen 100 videos on no quarter. We've done that a million times, but with this being an intro to biking, we're gonna continue down Green World where Dave is. And we're gonna go and uh, do the whole thing. Right on guys, first day? Yeah.
Yeah. Not ever, but you know. Oh yeah, I, I mean a trestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, welcome, guys. Save 15 years, you know. I love it. I have never done this one before. I I haven't either, to be honest. So guys, this is uh, this is interesting. You get to see a couple of newbies on uh, on Green World here. I've never done that upper part, but it's fun. So we're gonna go follow Dave through here again. Never been down this trail, so this is our this would be our pre-ride if you remember from earlier, right? Going at a pace that is safe. That's really what it comes down to. You know, something that you may you may come around a corner and a two foot diameter tree has fallen across the trail. Now granted at a bike park they're good about cleaning these things up, fixing those issues hopefully never happens to you. But if it fell, let's say it I don't know, eight o'clock this morning, it'd still be here. And we wouldn't know about it till we came up on it. So just be aware, right? Just keep looking down trail, making sure that, you know, you might even come across a downed rider, right? That's another thing too. Couldn't see Dave there, so I slowed up a little bit just to make sure he didn't stop. Woo, yeah, look at that, a little bit of steep. That's nice, not that steep, but still a little bit steeper. Oh, look at that, a little root to drop off of. Maybe six inches or so. Nothing that a bike cannot handle. You'd be surprised what bikes will roll off of and not throw you. Sometimes I'm even shocked, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I think, oh, I'm gonna crash, and the bike just absorbs it. Now, if you have, if you have the funds and want the proper experience, go rent a downhill bike. You'll probably end up buying one. And yes, you can do it on cross country, you can do it on trail bikes, enduros, etc. But once you experience the full suspension of a downhill bike, um, everything changes. There's just something about 200 millimeter of travel that just makes everything feel so darn good. I look at this big old rock, boop, and just right over it. Big rock here, boop, right over it. A couple more rocks. See, even these areas in here, I mean, that was arguably fast for a pre-ride, honestly. Should be going a little bit slower for a pre-ride. And we're pedaling a little bit. That being said, the downhill bikes are not made for climbing. They're heavier. The gearing is considerably made for just flat out speed, right? Going downhill, accelerating faster than you were going before. They don't climb all that well. Even through here, I'm gonna sit down. Oh, look at that little draw, a little root drop, I mean. A couple more. Some tight S's, up and over, oh, big root, okay. Oh, and look at that, Kosh Country Trail, and we're back out at a merge spot. So, you know, something else to keep in mind. When you see these signs, Watch for people, okay? You may have someone come ripping around here. You both don't want to meet in the middle. Slow down, be courteous. Usually you'll find the other person wants you to go. You do the same to them, hey, you go. And, uh, and everybody just does it nice and easy for a good, fun, safe day, all right? Take a break here for two seconds, get some water, and we'll, we'll get back to it. We'll continue along here. Just kind of coming down through the trail here.
And in some of these slower sections, yeah, sit down, let the legs rest, right? Do whatever it is. <laughs> Dave's having fun popping off some of these. We'll hit a little hoppers. You know, it's probably a good time to start working on some of your little jump offs. If so inclined, obviously you don't have to, but if you want to start familiarizing yourself, it's a good place to do it. tight in here with the trees. A little bit of pedaling. Sit down a second, take a break. Oh, I'm looking uphill. Not much of one. There's the sign, Upper Cherokee or Green World. Ooh, good berm. Good spot just to come off the brakes. Let the bike just accelerate through the corner. <laughs> Dave's doing manuals off of these. <laughs> nice, Dave. through here. Little S corners. A couple of decent spots just to kind of stay off the brakes and let the bike do its thing. A little bit of high exposure there off the edge so don't go off. Just trust in your tires and your bike. muddy oh a little bit of mud there check for vehicles looks good and then you probably saw that back there that sign showed green world to the right the good thing about a bike park versus just going out into the woods everything is marked okay the trails are marked where you need to go is marked what's up ahead trails merge etc when you go out just flat out free riding you know a, a trail an ohv whatever um, they're not well, a lot of times you have to just make sure that you know that these you know mer trails merge or what have you so now we're out here at this road you'll see the signs here ah here we go lower green world you know, and the other thing too, if you get lost, if you're not sure, hang out and wait for a second, someone will come by, okay? We're here on a Monday. This place is fairly empty, to be quite honest with you. Mondays are slow days, right? Any of the other days, come here and say, hey man, I'm trying to get down, trying to take Green World, whatever it is, and, uh, and have somebody tell you where to go. Don't just head off and hope unless of course you see the markers right but it's just better to do it that way um, as you can see here this is pretty much a road throw a little speed into it I mean, don't get me wrong it's still a loose gravel road you still have to still got a bike it's not a sidewalk but oh boy does that wind feel good it's uh it just got done raining when we got here this morning. It was actually raining all the way over the pass, and it was muggy. I mean, humid, like as humid as humid gets. And that's exactly what it is now. It's still very humid, but we call that hero dirt. The dirt is very tacky. It's not dusty. You know, I don't see any dust coming off of Dave's tires. He's just whipping down this thing. Um, this is awesome, right? And this is also a good time to just kind of 
take it easy, maybe get familiar with a little bit faster speeds, right? Little dip here, cool. Hit a big rock. You know, just kind of get familiar with the bike. All right, guys, we are rolling up to the end here. As we come down through this trail merge, quick look. And we're down here at the bottom and always be careful right here. You don't want to crash in front of anybody, right? That, you know, that's so fun. <laughs> and now we're back at the bottom. So if you go left, it's the walk zone. You got to walk your bike. Okay, that'll take you to the restaurants and all that. Obviously the kid area is here. All the good fun places to take all the kids. We're about to roll by a bike wash station as well. I'm gonna dip over here, buddy, not to get this thing too grubby. Okay. And we're gonna go get back onto the gondola. And I know I don't think I recorded that. You probably saw it in the intro though. Stand the bike upon the rear wheel, hold it with the brake so that it stays up and walk it in. Walk it in, turn sideways, sit down on the seat, prop the bike up in the corner and enjoy the view. So there you go, guys. It is absolutely possible for, <laughs> for a beginner to come ride trestle on really any bike. Uh, we saw newer bikes, we saw older bikes, saw everything you can imagine. So enjoy the ride, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're lucky enough to have a Dave, 